Okay, so now let us do um, another activity for our desktop publishing topic. And this time, we're going to create a flyer. So let us um, open our publisher. So same way, you can go to the built-in. And then um, there are also, of course, you click flyer. There are also templates um, built in in publisher for us to make our flyers. So, but this time, let us try to make our own uh, flyer and not using any template. So, as you can see, there is there the landscape, and then there is the portrait mode, and course with the corresponding sizes. So, let us say we're going to use the A4 portrait. Click create. So what we're going to make here is something like this. Okay, I'll show you this one. So this is an example of a flyer. So we'll try to make something like this. Okay, so let me just close this one. Let's go back to the publisher. So first we're going to put some color on our page background. So we go to page design, go to background, then go to more backgrounds so you can use a picture as your background so you can choose this option then go to file then choose any picture that you want or you can go to solid go here then i'll choose this color click ok okay so our page now has a background color okay so next thing is we're going to add a title now to our flyer so we choose this one draw text box and then so you can make your view bigger or smaller using the zoom here and then can scroll down so I will write here let's see this is Jasmine's supermarket okay let us assume I have my own supermarket okay let's make the font bigger and then, so let's make this one a line center. Um, I'll choose a font. Let's say we use this one. Okay, then I'll choose the style. Okay, that's better. Next is, we are now going to make uh, use of a table to lay out the content of our flyer. So every time, like for example, you have many contents to lay out in your flyer, one of the good tools that you can use is using a table. So you can click here, table, and then let's say we're going to have a three by one table. So it means three, col three columns, one, two, three, and one row. So let's move our table using the four headed arrows. Okay, you can resize the table like this. If you want to insert a new row to your table, there is one shortcut. You can click on the last uh, column of your last row. Then you can click the tab key from your keyboard. Okay, tab, automatically you will have a new row. Another is you can just right click on any cell. Then choose insert. Then you can choose insert below or insert above. Okay. If you want to delete the same thing, just right click. Delete. Delete row or you can delete the column. Okay. So let us resize our table first like this. So let us just, uh, for the sake of example, we will have this number of products into our flyer. Okay. So okay, let's add our first product okay so let us first put some colors into our table let's change the background color of this so right click format table mm. let's go to fill and then i'll choose color i want to fill it with white only okay then let's put some picture now to our Okay, so let me go back. Let's go to Google. Okay. 
So I'll say I'll write for example fruits. Let's go to it. Let's go to images. And then I'll choose apple. Let's say I will use this picture, not this one. I think this one's better. Okay, then you can right click, copy, then go back to your publisher. You can use the shortcut key of paste control V from your keyboard. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so again, you can press control V or you can right click paste okay let's make this one smaller okay then let's write some information here so i'll say this one this is apple let's make it bigger Put it in the center. I'll change some font. Okay, then let's put some price here. Let's say this is 400 by per kilo. Okay, let's make this one a little bigger. I think we need to crop this one. Just click on the picture, then you can use the crop. The crop is a good tool for you so that if you want to change the size or edit the size of your image like this, so you can see my image is the size now is changed okay so that's better so let's say we add another fruit let's say we see orange okay so let us try to choose this one right click copy Let's go back. Okay, then you can move this one here. Let's make this one smaller. Okay, so it's as easy as that one. Okay, and then you can just copy this one so that the formatting will be copied also. Let's just go here and then paste so paste merge formatting so that we will have the same font style with this one so this is orange you can do it like this so it's a bit faster for you when you're designing your flyer so i'll have here the last one for this example, let's say I'll have here banana. Then we'll just search for the picture for a banana. Okay, then we choose this one, copy, go back, paste. And I'll have a banana here. Okay, so you can do the same steps for all the other products that you want to add in your flyer, given that we want to create something like this. And then if you want to add some other information to your flyer, like for example, the address or the time. So let's see, I'll change this to a bigger size. And the color, I'll we'll change it to white. And I'll say vacation. Let's 
this either. Open, see from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So the important thing when designing a flyer is you have to think of that you are including all the important information that you want your customers to see when they receive your flyer. And also one very good, uh, one important thing is you have to make sure that your flyer is attractive and easy to read as much as possible. Okay, so um, again, you can do the same thing for all the products here. You can just add it here. So that's it on how to make your own flyer using Microsoft Publisher. But before that, let us save first our file. Let's go to File, Save, go to Computer. So I'll save it in my Flyer folder. So I'll say it's a Flyer, Product, Enter. Okay, so now it is saved. Now you can also save your flyer into a picture format. So it's by doing like this, go to File, then choose Save As, Flyer. I mean, that's the folder that I'm saving it. Then choose which image format that you'd like. So you can use a JPG or a PNG format. So let's say I will use the PNG format. Click Save. So once you go to your folder where you save your file, as you can see here, we now have a picture of our flyer. Okay? So that's it, and I hope you enjoy our video for today, and enjoy and have fun in making your own flyers. Thank you, and goodbye.